a up duck, we're back um, doing some more nails. Now these nails that are inspiring me today are pretty special nails. These nails in this box were owned by Janet Jackson. Oh my God, so um, a while ago, Janet Jackson did an auction with Julian's auctions. She was like raising money for charity and stuff. So obviously I was there um, bidding in the middle of the night. Yeah. And Well, what else do you do in the middle of the night but bid on superstars used yeah. nails? There was like clothes, there was like platinum discs, there was loads of stuff. Kim Kardashian bought the If, outfit if you know the song if she bought the outfit for about 20 grand or more it was some ridiculous amount um yeah so i was like well i want something but i'm not got that kind of money um i think like the ease were estimated at 100 to 300 dollars Guess what? They didn't cost that much. They were way more than that. I didn't just bid on these. I bidded on these nails. Obviously, I needed the nails because they've touched Janet Jackson's hands. So I'm a massive Jackson fan. So I love Michael Jackson and love Janet Jackson. And I just wanted something that had touched it. So I had the nails. Is that a bit creepy? <laughs> it's very creepy. A little bit. A little bit obsessed. And I bought some belts. So I got four designer belts in like a bundle that she's wore round her waist. I mean, how was, I was amazing is that? Um, so the nails were for the um, BMI Hip Hop Awards. So there are, if, you, if you Google online, and I'll show you in a minute, you can see pictures of her picking up the award with these nails on. So I had to have them. And I think in total with both the belts and the nails, I paid over $2,000 plus I had to pay about, I think it was about 300, 400. What, import duties? In, import duties, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh. I know. Oh. I know. It's a business expense, you know. <clears throat> Should have put it through the business. <laughs> Yeah, messed up there, didn't I? So, I'm gonna show you these nails. Now, obviously, I, I was like, I was so excited. I was like, I can't wait to get these nails. Only seen like a, you know, a rough image of them. It was just an image, it was on my phone. You know, it wasn't very clear or anything like that. Got the nails, I was so excited. Um, and they opened the nails. So these are the nails. And if I'm completely honest, and you know I'm very, very honest, I was slightly disappointed. Because they're not perfect. You know me, a bit OCD with the old nail art and stuff. But I thought, well, it's not about that, is it? It's not about them being perfect. It's about them being Janet Jackson nails on Janet Jackson's hands. And they must have been put on with sticky tabs because there's a little sticky tab still here. Look. There's a bit of scum left under. Yeah, still a little mm. bit of a sticky tab there. So she would have had these on. And yeah, so well done to, for the nail tech for doing them. I'm sure that was really nervous. I mean, if I got the opportunity to do Janet Jackson's nails, I think I would be shaking like a hitting dog. Are you saying that it's like they're all a bit wonky? Um. <laughs> And a bit shaky. They just... I'm just... Do you reckon you can do better? Yeah, I think I can do better. So what we're going to do today is we're going to pick five of our favourite nails, what we're going to recreate, and we're going to recreate five of them. And, yeah, we're going to make them a whole lot better. Janet Jackson, if you want your nails done, I'm here, duck. You live in England. Someone please send Janet Jackson this video because I live in England and so do you now. And I can come and do your nails any day of the week, 24 hours in a day, and I will come at any time in the day to do your nails because you are a legend. I mean, what do you think of them, Adam? Shall I have a look? Go on, you have a look at them. And people are now wondering why I'm not um, over there. Yeah, 
Because Jay, we've got Jay behind the camera here. Hmm. I think they're very basic. Yeah. I don't get what's going on with this one. I know. It's... Like, it's messy. Yeah. <laughs> They definitely can't do straight lines. They needed the lily liner. They need the lily liner brush. Yeah, um, shall I show this one? Even that one, like all the lines are different sizes. Yeah. I don't know, I just think I could have done them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, no, I reckon Jay could have done them because he's an artist yeah. where I'm not really an artist, but I think I could have done all right. I think you could mm. do way better. Yeah, I mean, I don't get these this bit of like it's like um it's like a bit of fake stones on a bit of fabric weird it's very odd so it makes you think like what what when when a nail artist is going to do something for a celebrity mm -hmm. what is it that sort of is inspired them you know yeah because it could have been an outfit well I'll, an outfit i'll show you your outfit it's very difficult it's very to see. Very blurry, isn't it? But she's wearing all black. Mm hmm. So. So it's not going with the outfit. So it's just like what would she had got camo pants on. Okay, but. So we understand the camo one. Mm hmm. All right. So which ones are we gonna recreate? Are you, are you gonna read, not me? I think this one, the camo one. Okay. Yeah. This one. Oh, it's a New York sign, isn't it? Isn't it the New York sign? I don't know, I don't think so. NY? Well, it hasn't been done very well because the NY in New York goes Savage. straight down. Savage. No, because that, that yeah. Y is the, she's done the Y like that, where the Y in New York goes down, not across. Does it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, well, we'll Google that then. I think we'll do this one because I can show you how you can put things in that dangle off. Yeah? Dingly danglies. And I think... Actually, looking... that looks cooler now I can see that it's got that. Yeah, see them? They're looking a little bit, you know, but then I think, I feel like she got a bit bored and just did some simple ones. <laughs> but I don't know what's going on with that one. I, I just don't know. I'm See, I'd want, I'd, I'd want Swarovski crystals, the, you know, not just your cheap plastic, you know. No. No. I think we'll do this one. Which one do you think, Ad? Well, like I said, I think the best one on there is this one here. This one? Yeah, this with matte the matte. One. The matte, matte and, and then the gloss. the gloss. Yeah, we'll do them then. So we'll do those five. And then we'll sell them to Janet Jackson for £2,000. <laughs> I know. I hope she didn't pay for them. Look, there's a sticky it's tab, you see. So Still she's sticky. Had, yeah, so she's had them on with that's, sticky that's tabs. That's touched Janet Touch Jackson. Touched Janet Jackson! Oh, you're so gross. <laughs> well, this, right, so we'll go through this. This one's been done with a, um, you know, you can get the, like, vinyls, sticky vinyls. So this mm -hmm. is done with sticky vinyls. We're going to do this with gel polish. Um, this looks like it's been done with a sticky vinyl as well because I think I can kind of see the edge of the vinyl. Ah, this one's done with transfer foil. So it's not even... Oh, my dear, see, this is bugging me now because, like... That's so lit. Well, it's not lazy. I would spend you know? so much time on these for Janet yeah, Jackson. Exactly. Yeah. You know, and it's like, however much this person's been paid or whether they've been paid or not, you would still want to give them the best thing ever. Mm -hmm. And they've just went, ah, that'll do, uh, that'll do, mm, yeah. that'll do. It's very strange. That's all I'm going to say. It's strange. But we're, not... all, we're, all, we're all at different levels, aren't we? We all do nails at different levels. So, you know. And do you know what? She does some. I've looked at her work, and she does do like nice, short, like natural nails with gel polish, things like that. Mm. Maybe this is just out of the comfort zone. Because mm. you do find that you have your own. I feel like I'm being horrible, but it is. It's. I'm just shocked. Yeah. Well, I'm, I was I'm shocked when shocked. I opened the box. I thought they yeah. were going to be. Yeah, I thought they were going to be like nominal. banging. Yeah. And honestly, practice tips. Yeah. So we're going to redo them. Make them amazing. <laughs> so I apologise if we've offended anybody in this video. It was not meant. <laughs> to She's not anybody. a follower. But yeah. <laughs> so we've got the Aliana hand um, today, and the tips that I've put in are actually Max Estrada tips. Um, so these are the double XL ombre stilettos. So what I've done is I have. Can you see how they've got this little ombre on them? 
I'd just buff them. If you buff the tips, you're just kind of left with the pink. You can buff off that ombre. So they're quite cool for different things. I do like them. Um, so we've put those on. And we're going to start with... We're going to do the camo one because I like a bit of camo. I do love a bit of camo. And I've got all the colours out and they're all back here. So for the camo, we've got two camo colours. Oh, I know what I needed. I'm going to put them back in the precious box because, you know what I mean, these were... I can smell them, I can smell them. <laughs> These were Janet Jackson on Janet Jackson's nails. I mean, oh. I'd love to know if anybody would actually pay the kind of money I've paid for these. Because at the end of the day, they're precious because they were Janet's. Somebody bought the monster claws off our uh, off our. Oh Kickstarter. yeah, yeah. And that was two hundred pounds. Yeah. So they were good. They were. They were very good. Very good. Not like them. Mm. And yeah. And we're going to do it on this finger. So what I'll do is I'll just curl these out of the way. So it is poseable. This hand is. Um, we'll link it below. We do have a discount code as well. We're doing the middle finger. We're doing the middle finger. Yeah. <laughs> Not being a bitch. I promise. Right, so I'm going to base coat first of all. So I'm going to use the little lamp to cure because then I haven't got to keep moving the, the hand. We need a bit of black as well. So I'll go through the colours as we use them. Oh, I might need the nail out. Silly girl. So we're going to start with... I'm gonna lay down there's two there's two carkies. One's got a shimmer in, one doesn't. You've got Eden and what's number 26, Adam? So Eden has a slight shimmer and it's like more of a dirtier green. Oh you dirty. 26 is Andy. I would cut why did I not know that? Named after my brother. <laughs> Andy Mickey Duck. Your favourite brother. My favourite brother. Do you not tell Kurt or Diesel? <laughs> Hopefully they're not watching. Well, I got a phone call off, uh, or a message off my cousin Laura, because I'd called them the Shining Twins <laughs> in the like? live that we did. Oh yeah, was she like, how rude. And she's like, I didn't know what you were on about, so I had to have a look, a look them up. Yeah. We did not look like the Shining Twins. I thought she said. <laughs> so we're going to do this cuticle area black, so I'm just pushing some of the product here so I can kind of use that as a bit of a, I need a bit more, a bit more product, and if you push it, gonna help you get it a little bit neater and so I'll wash that round so and this is like a yellowy it's got a little tinge of green in it so I'm gonna mix so a tiny bit of green so that's Andy then we're gonna use Sandra check the color so pretty damn close to be honest but I won't go I think it's just ever so slightly lighter. And I'm going to use the Miko gel brush. And I think cam camo is quite easy because it is, it's just random. So we're going to do these random splodges of colour. that then I'm going to use the color Mick Cola and then we've got Voyage which is our black and I'm literally just adding a little bit of because I think it needs another tone of green on there I'm going to cure that because I might layer oh look at that Oh, wow. Oh, Look at how that glows. That is quite smart, I like that. Then we're going to use cola, which is the brown. Don't worry about overlapping. We're going to cure that. And then we're going to do the black. And the black really makes everything pop. It's glam 
Glamouflage. Glamouflage. I like it, Jay. Glamouflage. Oh, look, it's a bit of glamouflage. And if your battery runs out on your portable little uh, flashlight lamp, just use the main lamp and take the bottom off it. And then what we're going to do, we will need the Lily Liner brush because what I'm going to do with that is do my cuticle area. So we're going to use that in with the void. So we're going to go into void, which is our black. And I'm going to get this part done first. So I'm just going to frame that. And I'm going to get it nice and tight to the cuticle. Look at this one, you can pull this cuticle back. How cool is that? <laughs> if only real people had cuticles you could do that with. I mean, don't get me wrong, I do try to pull the skin away as I paint. So we filled that in, let's give that a full cure, 30 seconds. I'm going to top coat twice because I want it to be super smooth. I wouldn't want to give Janet Jackson any lumpy bumpy nails. So if you look at it now closely, can you see the flow of light or you get it's slightly inconsistent, it's not dead smooth. I mean, some people might be happy with that, but not me, not me. So we're just going to buff, and you'll see that when you buff, it hits those high points. So this is just going to soften it a little bit. You don't want to fire over file because then you'll just take away the colour. But you just want to buff it a little bit with the buffer, and it'll just smooth it a little bit. So when you put your next colour on, Next colour, sorry, when you put your top coat on, it will have a smoother appearance. And can we just note that that black at the back has only had one coat? Because it's that pigmented. Oh, yeah. It didn't need, it didn't need um, a second coat. So, second coat, top coat. And we'll cure that. So there we are. Camo, done. So shiny, you can... Yeah, I like it. So shiny. Mm. Cool. So, that one's done. So we're going to base coat again. So we know we've got great adhesion. The base coat's gonna give us the best adhesion possible. Let's cure that. Right, so we've got Alex, and we've got Suki, and we've got Katie, which are gonna be our colors in the background here. And then we've also got Lust, which will be our red here, and then we'll use the black and the white, which is um, white out and void. So let's do the blue down the centre first. And it's pretty wibbly wobbly. Was that intentional? <laughs> Maybe. Just got to get this lily liner brush and just bring that up here. Second coat, and then we just get the lily liner brush and just drag it up. Here. I know that this section here, this um, diagonal section will be have crystals on it, but I want to make it, you know, as neat 
as I can. I don't need to be too particular, but I do want it to be neat and I can make sure that this second coat goes right to the edges of that wibbly wobbly shape. And we've got Suki here. I need two coats of that. So we're just going to go next to that colour that we've done. So you can see it's important to cure that colour first, that blue, because we're putting a colour next to it and if it's still if it's still wet then you're gonna get bleeding between each colour. Oh, look at that. How is that bright? It looks white. Ooh. Then we've got the colour Katie. And we'll probably get away with one coat of that. Right, so the red at the back. You'll maybe use the brush for some of it, the brush from the bottle. But then you'll need to get either a detailer brush, you could use your Lily Liner brush to just neaten everything else up. So I'm going to go directly into the polish that's already on there. And I'll neaten that up and then I'll come round the cuticle area, get that nice and neat. My God, I think we can do one coat of that as well. <laughs> wow, damn, that's so pigmented. Right, what we're gonna do now is this New York sign, but I need to see what this New York sign actually looks like. Are we talking about the, the New York, like, Yankees one? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's definitely like a Y where it's two sticks and then one straight down, not one coming, like one length, one, one short one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, comes down vertically. Yeah, Jay, Jay knows what he's talking about. <laughs> like there? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to flip it the other I'm going to do it the way that I would do it. Right, okay. Which is facing the, you know, if you go like that with the hands or facing somebody when they look at your hands, if you look at them like that, rather than upside down. That's upside down to me. So we'll use white out. If that's going to be the lowest point there, just going to map it out first. Top of the Y, top of the Y. Okay. Now I can actually do the detail. See, that looks right. <laughs> that looks right. Let me cure that. Then for the little spots, it's like cheetah markings, aren't they? I suppose. Mm. I'm going to use the Miko gel brush. We saw a tiger, a lion, and two cheetahs at the weekend. Did you? Yeah, a flamingo lad. See, I wouldn't even bother putting a transfer foil over that. That didn't take that long to do. No. It's very, very easy to do. Right, now we need stones, don't we, Duck? Oh, Duck, we've got some amazing crystals here. We're going to put on, make it a bit bling bling. I'm going to use the crystal to tell us. I'm going to do a line. I need to balance my hand all at the same time. So you gently squeeze that and then just let it kind of draw across and then you can adjust it a little bit with your the design needle from the Pammy Picker Upper. And then we're going to put some bling. Press that into the glue. It's like a gem glue gel. 
it's not going to set until you put it into the light and I'm going to cure that right now with the top coat we're going to push it up to the stones so it just kisses the stones so you keep the facets of the stones don't go over your crystals you should never do that because it'll take away the facets top coat's going to seal it it's a no white top coat this is from the thirsty making range and the hand has definitely fell off the table well i know which one i like <laughs> she doesn't even need confirmation. She just yeah, knows. I just know. So we're gonna do oh this one with the with the dangly dangly on. Ah, this one's pretty simple. I know it's go dangly, but it's pretty simple. Let's just curl them under. So we're gonna base coat. And then this colour, I think is re a really good match. It's called Mercury. I think it's a really good match for that silver. So we're gonna do two coats of this. And it's really pigmented, this is. Let's give that a cure. Second coat. Then we're gonna to top coat. Gonna to make it super shiny, which I prefer because I feel like that nail of Janet Jackson's doesn't actually even have a top coat on. I feel like it's just nail polish and without any top coat. You think it's just nail polish without top coat? I think these I think most of them are done. I think they're all done with nail polish. Now time to drill the hole. It's important to get all this done first before you drill your hole. Don't drill your hole, then put your gel polish on because you're just gonna fill that hole with gel polish and that'll look nasty. So we're gonna use the secret weapon, which is a ceramic bit. You need to make sure if you're doing this design, make sure that you penetrate the nail that's not attached to the natural nail. So I wouldn't be drilling through here because yes, you'll be up the accident unit or the ER because yeah, there'll be blood. Make sure it comes past the natural nail. You know, it's beyond the finger. With this one, it's sort of right at the end, not quite in the middle, but we're gonna put it in the middle. And what you also need to look at is, so if I'm gonna use, so I've got some necklaces here that have been broken up. Um, you can buy just rings like just these kind of rings, which I have an abundance of at home, but not here. So what we're gonna do is, you see this ring here? That's the, gonna be the ring. So what you need to make sure is, wherever you're putting this, so say I drilled through the middle here, that's not gonna fit, is it? Because this is too small. So make sure it will fit. And you, you know, you can only go sort of half that distance across. So putting it in the middle at the end will be absolutely fine. You want a high speed, got this on 25. And I am gonna put my finger underneath. You can't, if you don't wanna put your finger underneath because you, you know, don't want to capitate yourself. Well, not to capitate, that's a bit extreme. Get a buffer, put a buffer underneath, like there. Supporting the nail. and gently apply a little bit of pressure. I'm just gonna turn this over and I'm gonna go in the other way as well. So you'll hit the buffer. And there we have a little hole. Cool. Piercing duck, we've got pierced nails. Tweezers. Grab it, like that. Let's hook it through. Close that. That bit needs pressing down a little smidgen. Now if you do something like this for a client, what I would do is, so you see this join here? It's always gonna catch in hair. So this part's quite important if you want somebody to wear it all the time. 
I remember when I sort of was doing nails a long, 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 long time ago, there was a company called Spangles and they did piercings for nails and they did ones that you could hook on and off. Mm. I think they were star nails, by star, they were by star nails and mm. star nails are now Cuccio. Mm. Fun fact. So what I would do is get a tiny bit of top coat and put a little bit of top coat over that joint. Don't let it sit on the nail though. And then we're just going to flash cure that. And that's going to stop that little clasp but getting caught in hair, fabric, you know, they're going to catch it on the clothes and everything. So this will just really help. So you've got a bit of top coat there, so it's not going to catch. I'm just going to roll that round so you can't see it. And I think that is actually really cute. And it's, it's a wearable. It's a wearable piercing because... Obviously, this was done for an occasion, and I can't imagine how many times Janet Jackson must have caught um, her knickers <laughs> when she was going to the toilet. She'd been in the toilet with these on. Oh, 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 oh God. Did they want to be sanitised? Oh, there was no sanitizer in them days. No one did that. They just washed their hands, duck. <laughs> right, so let's kill that one in. And let's get, do this little finger. So the little finger I'm going to do this one on. So we're going to do this one. This is, this is your favourite one, isn't it? The gloss and the matte. So we're going to do base coat again. I feel like I still have a really sore throat after screaming and shouting at the Robbie Williams concert, so... Excuse the husky voice. Right, then we're going to use Void. Cure that. I think we can get away with one coat of that as well. Jesus Christ. What I'm going to do, so there's two ways you can do this. You can matte top coat it and then use the gloss to make the gloss or you can gloss it and then use the matte to do the lines. And I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to glossy top coat, then use the matte top coat to create the lines. I've been to see Janet Jackson three times. Really? Yes. Did she sing new stuff each time? Yeah, different albums. Oh, nice. Okay, that's all right then. She's amazing. <laughs> She's a legend. So now, palette. Let's go back to our palette. We're going to get the matte top coat now. I'm going to blob some on the palette. This is really light sensitive. So as I'm using this, it will start to turn, so you'll want to get this done. A-S-A-P. So we've got the Lily Liner. And we're going to do some lines. I've sort of dipped in each time to get them a similar thickness so each one has the same amount of gel on them but I've gone I've sort of changed the angle as I went just because I like it like that. I like it like that let's give that a cue so you've got the contrast of the glossy and the matte so that's the original I mean what she could have done is painted half of it matte and half of it glossy and then done the lines on each side. But I, I like, I mean, I like this. Don't forget, we're not making an exact replica. We're just doing our own thing as well. So this one is, I mean, I'm not sure what's going on here. Because, yeah, we've got these little studs and then we've got this. This is like a bit of matte, a bit of silver, a bit of, I don't know. It's, it looks like it's been knocked and squished. It's... Like, forgetting the designs themselves, it's not very tidy. T yeah, it's not very tidy, shall we say. None of them are very tidy. Like, yeah. But we're working with it. 
Like even the one with the New York thing. Mm. If you have a look in the corner of the N, there's on the white there's red. So I'm like, how's that happened? But it's probably because it was nail polish and it wasn't yeah. dry. Yeah, what probably wasn't dry when she's taken them off the stand. Mm. Yeah. How old are these nails? They are from 2018. And they probably got just chucked in a drawer somewhere. Where yeah. She like pulled them out and was like, oh, some crazy lass from England. I'll buy them. <laughs> <laughs> and a few belts. <laughs> was for charity. <laughs> was for charity. Where at least with your tips, they're all in like a nice box and... Yeah. Nicely displayed, yeah. nice and tidy. Tidy, yeah. yeah. Right, let's do the black. You know what? Makes me so proud when I when I use our gel polishes because this black is just absolutely insane. Black, black. It is. That's ah, one coat. You can put two coats on if you want, but you, I mean, damn. That's black. That has got some serious pigment. The matte isn't, hasn't reacted yet on the palette. It's still, you know, it reacts with normal light as well. Mm. It's still all right, so we can use it. And I put some mercury on there as well, which is a silver. And what I'm going to do is, let's use my Miko gel brush. And we're going to do this angle of matte at the top here to create some texture. Some of the mercury on here and we're just going to do some random little lines, a little bit tiger print. Like that. I can't like that just as a design, you know? Like that, like mm. smart, that does. Just with like a gap in there. Yeah. Mm. That's smart, that is. I like it. Mm. We're gonna, Good. I'm gonna wipe over with the um, cleanup solution because the silver will have a sticky layer. I don't want to have the sticky layer, but I also don't want to top coat it with anything. So I've left this shiny in the middle. I know it's not shiny on this one, but I, I like it. But we will use a normal top coat on this one. And we're gonna use some gorgeous blingy stars. We're gonna use the Crystal Totalis to put that on again. They've got pink tinge to them, those crystals. They're an AB, oh, yeah. so they've got an Aurora Borealis um, coating. And then with the top coat, we're going to go around the stones. That's going to help keep them on. And also make that centre part nice and shiny. There you are. So that's the original one. And then I put my little twist on it. It does look much cooler. It does, I like it. I mean, she deserves stars because she's a star. And they are the other ones. So Janet Jackson's verse Kirsty Meekins. Oh, not that Janet Jackson painted the nails, you know, somebody else did, but yeah, you get what I mean. But I love them. So random though. It's very random, isn't it? Because they don't go as a set at all, really. Not at all, and no. it's very odd. <laughs> I think she just had some plas some practice tips laid around and she sent them to Janet Jackson. 
I'm not sure. <laughs> but there you are. I hope you've enjoyed this. I mean, Janet Jackson's, these been on Janet Jackson's fingers. Oh, I do love her so much. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this video. You've learned a bit. Um, everything I've used today will be listed below. It always is in our videos in the description box. If you've made it to the end, please give us a thumbs up. I want you to tell me in the comment section. Do you prefer the original Janet Jackson nails or do you prefer mine? <laughs> Get commenting and I'll see you in the next video. Nasty girls don't mean a thing. Oh, you nasty boys don't mean a thing to me. Uh.